Let's try out a question from 2014 Amy 2 problem 3. We have a diagram given to us, we have a rectangle and we have a hexagon given to us and let's read the question. A rectangle has size of length A and 36. They are not specifying to us yet which one is A and which one is 36. Let's read on. A hinge is installed at each vertex of the rectangle and at the midpoint of each side of length 36. Huh, that's, that's interesting. Let's read on. The sides of length A can be pressed toward each other, keeping those two sides par parallel. So sides of length A are the ones that's being parallel. That's very good to know. So the rectangle becomes a convex hexagon as shown. And now we know that these sides are the sides with length A because they have to be parallel. And we are squeezing down the sides of length A. So what's happening is that you have installed a hinge. So you know that's the side length A, that's side length A, that's 36, that's 36. And you're installing a hinge at the, each vertex of the rectangle. So right here, right here, and down below the, these two. And you're installing them at the midpoint of each side of length 36. It's the, in the precise middle. That's good to know. So at right at the center where it's being divided 18 to 18, you're installing a hinge so it can bend. So as you're compressing it down, think of a hand pressing this side this way and pressing the other side this way at the same time and the, the rectangle is going to bend. It's going to bend like, like a piece of like a piece of, you can think of it as being a spring. You can think of it as a spring. It's compressing down. And while it's compressing, it's also compressing the side. This side used to be like this, but now as it's compressing, the side is squeezing inward, like shown right here. And since you know that this hinge is separating the, the 36 side into two equal parts, it's at the midpoint. You know this has length 18, this has length 18. So that's very good to know. Let me erase this uh, spring really fast before we go on. So let's erase it. And the question says, when the figure is a hexagon with the side length A parallel and separated by a distance of 24. So that's telling us the parallel sides with length A are separated by distance of 24. So you know this perpendicular distance. Distance is always perpendicular when you're talking about two lines of 24. So you know that's 24. And the hexagon has the same area as the original rectangle. Okay, that's an amazing thing to know. And we want to find A squared. Well, the area of the rectangle is 36 times A, base times height. And you know that's equal to area of the hexagon. So now you got to find area of the hexagon. And how can we? Well, to begin with, let's separate this into two parts. Let's separate it into a rectangle and two congruent triangles out to the side. And the area of the rectangle is easy to calculate. The base is A, height is 24. So area of the rectangle is 24A. And now we got to find area of each of these triangles. And you know that's 24 and that's 24. And easiest way, because you have isosceles triangle going on, is to draw a perpendicular from the vertex to the opposite side. And now that's going to divide it into two equal pieces, 12 and 12. If you're wondering why it has to be equal, you can prove it quite easily. These two are the same and you have a perpendicular and you have the leg that's the same. So by hypotenuse leg congruence theorem, you know these two sides has to be the same. But I digress. Let's get back to the actual question. You have 12 and 12. So you know you can use Pythagorean theorem to find the length of this side. And the length of this side is going to be square root of 18 squared minus 12 squared. So that's square root of 324 minus 144, which is square root of, not 2, 180 is what I should say. So that's the length, of, that's the height. And square root of 180, you can get how much out of it? Well, that's 36 times 5. So you can get 6 out of it, 6 times square root of 5. So this, this not hypotenuse, this height is 6 times square root of 5. Base is 24. So the area of the triangle is going to be 24 times 6 times square root of 5 over 2. And since you have two of the triangles, you have this triangle and this triangle, you can multiply 2 by this, and you can just get rid of dividing by 2. Okay, 
Now what can we do? Well, you have 36A and 24A, so you can move 24A over to the other side. Getting us 12A is 24 times 6 times square root of 5. Dividing by 12 cancels out 12, and you get A is equal to 24 divided by 12 is 2, times 6 is 12, times square root of 5. And the question asks us to find A squared, and we can do that. A squared is going to be 12 squared times 5, also known as 144 times 5, also known as 720. So the answer to this question, the value of A squared is 720.